Hey Pisces for this is your reading for uh, September 2022. I'm gonna pull like this. Got the two of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, and nine. Two, five, and nine. All Pentacle energy. So it looks like your money could be growing into about to grow into a new phase like you're right in like a an increase for some of you it's going to be like a very slow increase or you may put in the work but you may not get paid in time to cover all your expenses for this month. You might not be able to cover them. You may have to cover some of your expenses and bills and stuff next month because of how slow you you take it, it's taken for you to receive the funds that you work for. It's time to make a decision. I'm hearing shit or get off the pot. You may need to move. You may need to find a place, a new place to live, a new place to go. You may be, you may not want to find a new place to go, but it looks like something maybe something is out there for you these cards are all in reverse so we're going to clarify them like this see, yeah your money is your money is weak but your spirit is strong You're, okay, you're running on the E. Let's see, six of swords. You're running on E, and you have to make a decision of what to do with the last of your resources some, for some of you. And when I say you're running on E, I mean money might be low, your spirits might be low. Let's see. What is that left hand? Let's see. I think this is saying that sometimes you need to lean on other people. You need you need to know when it's time to ask for help. And asking for help doesn't make you feel any better about the situation. But it does put you in a, in a you know, a better place to deal with what you're going through right now.
crazy here. Success. Okay. So we have the success card from the TV stick. And let's see what else we get. Because I think this is saying that. You have to take care of yourself physically and mentally and emotionally and you know, there's just all these different places or different bases to cover when you're taking care of yourself. And it just feels like You're running low on on self reliant on, on self resources, right? Like you're not, you know. At one time, you had a big ego, right? And now. You can't even figure out why you had a big ego. It might not even have to, nothing to do with low money. It may be some sort of depression. This is crazy. How are we gonna have success in the in unsuccessful plans? Something you went for and you didn't get it. And it might have just brought you all the way down, you know, spiritually. It might have brought your spirits down. You might even have money and just feel like there's nothing else you can do with it. You've done everything. And you're still not feeling yourself. There's more to this. Let's see. Something you went for that you didn't get. And it, it just broke you. You broke. You feel broken. You just feel like you're just going through the motions. There's a warning here to maybe stay away from self-medicating with drugs and alcohol and all that. Go to a doctor and get you some, some specialized medication, not, you know, what you would normally get on the streets. It's dangerous out there. So, get treatment. Someone could be messing with your energy. Someone could be, you know, like forcefully sending bad um, 
karma your way, like bad energy your way to make your spirit heavy. You need to start focusing on uh, concentrating your energy with the strength card here and the magician. You know, if you can bear it, I want to say lay down and do a meditation. That will where you can work on your energy oh my god I don't even want to say this stuff you need to protect your you need to protect your, yourself you need to protect your aura and your energy because if someone's not physically trying to hold you down which you know with these cards that could be the case somebody could be just staying in your head and making it hard for you to release yourself from them but you need to you need to get help with that. I feel like you need to get help with this. This is something that you would need psychic protection from. And, you know, if this person could see that you were winning, you probably even need physical protection from them. I don't know what the... person would be or what they would be why they would be doing this to you but somebody has done a successful sort of binding I feel like possibly a successful sort of binding spell on you or um they're just they're they're weighing they're fucking with your head like that's that's what what they do I'm saying they I don't I don't know who they is I'm just saying you need help with that um get you some books enlighten yourself enlighten yourself on spiritual on the spiritual and you know, energetic influences on your physical life and um, try to start doing some protection of your own. Some people, some people wear beads. You find your stone that works with your energy and you, you wear your beads and it helps you to keep your energy up. Um, I do, or I know a lot of people who also do uh, spiritual spiritual baths. That's one way to um, enforce, you know, yourself with protection. But that's what the world is coming to these days. You're gonna have to know how to protect yourself from the forces of people who who can't, who don't, or can't, or don't want to see you happy. Or don't want you to get over them or get past them. And I just want to say, like, good luck with that. And send me an email if you 
if this resonates. But, uh, yeah. Everybody have a good night.